Hello and welcome to Cam Logic's Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about NX11 Assembly Component View Control. My name is William Hall. I'm one of the AE team leads here, and I have over seven years of technical support in NX, Solid Edge, and Team Center. So, what are we talking about today? Today we're going to be looking at NX11 Assembly Component View Control tools that are available to use within the assembly application. We're going to look at two tools, the Assembly Arrangements tool and the Assembly Reference Sets tool. In the Assembly Arrangements, we're going to look at how we can control part positions and part variants using arrangements. And in the Assembly Reference Sets, we'll be looking at changing an existing reference set as well as creating a new reference set to use in your design. So let's jump over into the software and take a look at that. <clears throat> Here I have a simple valve assembly. Right now, we have several different constraints that are keeping the positions of the components in place. Uh, one I'm interested in is controlling the angle of the valve here. As you can see, we currently have an open valve. And I can come into this and make adjustments to make this a closed valve. However, I, instead of having to jump in and out of this assembly constraints tool to be able to make a change, I want to be able to quickly jump between an open and closed state for viewing purposes. I can do so easily with the arrangements tool. Here we currently have only one arrangement, our open valve. So I want to create a new arrangement. This one I'm going to call closed valve. And I'm going to make it my active arrangement. From here, you'll see I have my angle constraint that's controlling the position of the valve. I'm going to right click and go to arrangement specific. Now I can make a change to this within the arrangement. And I can choose to now jump between an open valve and closed valve quickly and easily. I can also choose to control part variants such as other parts that would fill the same role. For this I'll jump into a different assembly here. Here I have a simple caster uh, that I want to replace the wheel for. I have a couple different wheel options. So again, let's go in and make changes to our arrangements. Here we have a standard wheel, which we currently have. And I'm going to create another new arrangement. This one I'm going to call treaded wheel. Here you see I have the treaded wheel already loaded, however it is currently hidden. I'm going to right click and choose suppression and say in treaded wheel it is never su suppressed as it is now. And the standard wheel again always suppressed in treaded wheel. And I did want to make this always suppressed in my standard wheel. So now what I can do is turn this on. You'll see in the treaded wheel arrangement, my treaded wheel is currently visible. If I jump between to my standard wheel, it suppresses the tread wheel and shows just my standard wheel. Now, in addition, in addition to arrangements, we also can control visibility and display of parts using reference sets. Here I have a fork bracket that's holding the caster wheel in place. I can right click and go into the replace reference set and choose from a list of different reference sets available. Here we have our body. 
empty reference set, which keeps the part loaded but hides the part permanently until we come back in and change the reference set. Or choose entire part, which will bring in all of the additional information aside from the model, such as sketch and data information. We can use this in additional information for either designing a context of an assembly or uh, to better position and place components within the assembly. What I want to do here is create another reference set for this. So aside from being able to change between the existing ones, what I want to do is create a composite curve representation of this fork so that I can see through the component to better see the internal workings of my assembly. In order to do so, I have to activate the part and make it either my work or display part. For this, I'm going to need to have some sort of uh, features that I want to store inside the reference set. So for this, what I want to do is create a set of composite curves. <clears throat> so I'll go into my tools to do so. Create composite curves as we can see here. Then next, I'll go into my reference sets, choose to create a new reference set, giving it a name. and selecting the objects I want to be stored within. Now you can see within our reference sets, we have our existing reference sets, as well as the new one we just created. Some you can modify and make changes to, some you cannot. With our new reference set created, we'll go back into the assembly. And again, we can choose to come into our reference sets and choose our new reference set to, <clears throat> to display. Here you see I have just the composite curves being displayed. However, I'm not limited to any one or multiple different types of features. You can have datums and composite curves, solid bodies, sheet bodies, etc. Whatever you would like to display, as long as you can select it as a feature, you can show it within a reference set and control it with multiple reference sets. With that, I'll open it up for questions. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email at williamh at camlogic.com or you can reach out to us at our support at support at camlogic.com or call us at 855 955 0900. Thank you very much and have a great day.